Hello and welcome to this video overview of setting up on-call calendars, escalation schedules, and sending SMS slash voice notifications for incidents and other tasks in ServiceNow using the new team-based capabilities from Service Reliability Management in the Service Operation Workspace. If you don't yet have this app, you can request it from the ServiceNow App Store. It will require iTom Operator Pro at time of this recording. So let's take a look at the first thing that you're gonna to need to do to get on-call calendaring up and running with telephony capabilities to call and text. The first thing we're gonna do is head to the Service Operation Workspace Admin Center. To head there from the main navigator, you could type in Service Operations Workspace. Now from there, you'll be able to see this overview module. You click that and that will take you here to this landing page. From there, once you have the Service Reliability Management app installed, you could go ahead and configure that app. And what we're looking for for today's demo and today's setup of on-call particularly is this integrations piece where you're going to open up the Twilio API key section. Now, a couple things you want to do to get set up for success here. First of all, if you don't yet have the Twilio plugin, there's a link here that you can click to install the Twilio plugin. Once you've set up that Twilio plugin, now you're going to want to go and make sure that you have your Twilio ID and account token available for that integration. Now, I won't show you that in today's tutorial, but I'll assume if you go to Twilio and you set up either a personal account or you use an enterprise account, you'll be able to get an account SID and token. And we're going to assume you have that available to you and go into the Twilio config. What the Twilio config page is, is simply a place where you could enter your account SID as well as your auth token. This by default should be empty, but as part of your Twilio subscription, you'll be able to get one of these for both. After you've added each one, there will be a related link that you can use to update the API JSON, which will actually then pull in any phone numbers tied to your account. That's not all you have to do though. With that set up, you gotta click in to that phone number and associate it to the notify on call group. And that's gonna make sure that this phone number is eligible to send the on call notifications via voice or text for this notify group. So just set the on call group into this record. Just like that, you're ready to go and using Twilio for texting and telephony for on-call notifications. Let's look at setting up an actual Teams on-call calendar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Service Operation Workspace. From the Service Operation Workspace, you're gonna be able to see a new Teams module. And there you can click the dropdown to view all Teams to pick the team that you wanna set up. Of course, if you are a manager or admin at the team level, you can pick your Teams and configure them. If you're a global admin in the system, you could pick any team to go ahead and configure. So in my case, since I am a global admin during this demo, I've gone ahead and I've selected a problem analyzers team, which we're gonna go ahead and use for this demo. One of the new things you'll see bringing up a team record with service reliability management installed is a couple steps that it recommends you do, such as details, making sure you have team members, which is gonna be important to adding users to the on-call calendar, as well as other stuff like the on-call schedules and escalation triggers and policies. So let's do that now and set up our schedule. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this attachment panel as well as the required action panel for now, just so we get more visual real estate. As we can see, we start with an empty calendar. So I'm going to go in and create a shift. Let's go ahead and name the shift my weekday shift. I'll do a weekday and weekend shift. We're gonna say it's an all day shift because it basically runs the entire day for say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'm gonna start it on a Monday, so today. And I'm gonna press apply. And then on my repeat, I want this shift to repeat every single day of the week. So I'm gonna to go to a weekly repeat. And there you could see selected is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'm gonna repeat every one week in perpetuity. So I'll go ahead and press create shift. Just like that, we've defined our first weekday shift in the system. The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do 
is add the members to the shift. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to my members. I can even change my view to look at just a weekly view as well and make it easier to see what's going on. And I'm going to add a couple members to this weekly rotation. And so I'll add, first of all, analysts, task analyst A and task analyst B. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. So what's happening now is every week you'll see task analyst A will be on call for a week. And then the rotation happens. And next week, if I went to next week, we would see task analyst B and so on and so forth. And so in addition to rotating within a level, you can also add escalation levels on the calendar. So while this is the primary on call who we may first reach out to, we may also want to create a secondary on call. And so that'll also rotate every week. And it'll also rotate, uh, let's say on the first day of the week, but here I will add the problem coordinators and they'll be rotating between the two of them. And so you could see, as I save that, you see primary is problem task analyst A and secondary is problem coordinator B. So this is a great way to make sure that when there's an escalation policy, which we'll touch on in a moment, you have a path to go down. So we have the members, we have the initial shift. The last thing is to go ahead and save and publish. And just to make sure we have full coverage, I'm going to go ahead and actually add one more shift. So you could see we only have one shift currently, which is our weekday shift. I'm going to go ahead and add one more for full coverage. And we're just going to call this the weekend shift. It's again going to be an all day shift. It's going to start on this upcoming Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And it's going to repeat weekly every Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and create the shift. And we're going to be able to put in our members. Define again, let's just define one level of members and we're going to add some users here. Let's put it as the coordinators on the weekends. And just like that, we have our shift defined. So I will save and publish. Now, the next step is as we highlighted escalation policies. Now from the escalation triggers and policies, there's two key concepts. The first is the escalation trigger. Let's create a new trigger for this team and call it the problem on call escalation. We're going to say anytime we have an incident where the priority is critical, we're going to go ahead and escalate it to this problem analyzer team. So I'm going to go ahead and press save changes. So this is now going to kick off the escalation. But who are we actually going to escalate to? That's where the escalation policies comes into play. And so here we could see on the weekday shift, we have this default rotate through rosters. And when I click into the escalation steps, I can understand first it's going to go to the primary. So who's currently on call then after 30 minutes, and there's one reminder, it's going to go to the secondary. And if I wanted to add another escalation step, I can do so, let's say, to the manager at the end, we can respond and notify on a specific level. Or we could notify the manager of a current user who's on call on a given level. And you could also define the manager's level. So you could go to manager, manager's manager, and so on and so forth. But we're just going to go ahead and add that for now. So you could see we have a three level escalation policy defined here. And these policies will also have the ability to define the escalation notifications. So where should this given policy actually send notifications to? And so here, just for our demo, we're going to go ahead and override user preferences and we're going to notify users on email as well as telephony. And I'm going to go ahead and press done. So I'm going to save that. What we just did is we defined this problem on call escalation, which is going to go ahead and run for all critical incidents signed to the problem analyzers team. And it's going to go ahead. And for this weekday shift, it's going to go through, as we saw, level one, the primary on call, then the secondary and then the manager. So let's now take a look at this in action. And the first thing we're going to do, though, is make sure our user has a number on file for us to notify. 
And so we do recommend generally organizations will use a script and make sure you have your user record populated with a business phone data or mobile phone data. And the reason for that is we expect an I16N formatted number to call our users. So you could see problem task analyst A, we're gonna go ahead and impersonate problem task analyst A. I'm gonna click in, impersonate the user. And from here, you're gonna be able to actually go to the workspace. Keep in mind, we are now the actual agent user. They'll be able to come into their calendar through this schedule module and update their notification preferences. And so you could see here, this user currently doesn't have any numbers defined in their user record on the uh, business phone field, user's business phone. And so we'll quickly throw a number in there and I'm just gonna put a fake number for now, just like that, a phone number has been defined. So let's go ahead and test it out. We can now come to an incident, we'll create a new incident and we'll assign it to this team. We'll call it the new on-call test. We'll assign it to our problem analyzers. Then we'll make sure that the priority is one by setting severity and urgency to one, as well as impact. And that'll give us our one on criticality. And when we go ahead and we save this record, we'll be able to see in the work notes as that information gets sent the work notes will update with that on-call information. And we could see just like that, the system is informing us that it sent communication to the problem task analyst day by email and by voice. That user will get an on-call notification that you can configure by going to the workflows. There's an assign and notify workflow in the traditional ServiceNow workflow engine that you'll be able to use if you wanted to configure and change the actual text that got sent in the communication or the what the voice is saying from the Twilio side. So just like that, we successfully set up on call to use external telephony with the new on call scheduling and escalation policies from the service operation workspace and the new service reliability management app.